Look, playing around with electricity can be scary, right? So what we need to do is we need to turn the breaker box off. So you want to make your home smart home, right? So one thing that I want to do is I want to make a smart switch. So I got these right here. They're called Tapos. There we go, Tapo by TP-Link. So I already have one installed and I figure, oh, you know, it can be stressful thinking that you're gonna electrocute yourself or burn down your house. So I figured I'd go ahead and do a quick video to show you how to install one of the smart switches. That way you can install it and it'd be a lot better than the standard switch. Plus they work with Alexa, Google, so on and so on. Uh, I'm wanting to replace mine right here because at nighttime, every once in a while my ceiling fan gets to my throat and I had to get up and I had to turn it off. Well, I want to be lazy and I want to say, Alexa, turn off ceiling fan. And that's what I'm going to install this one here for. So that's what we're going to do in this video right here. Look, playing around with electricity can be scary, right? But it's not that scary if you make sure the power is off. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the fuse box outside, your breaker box, and you need to find which one is correlated with whatever switch you are replacing. So I already found mine and now I have my switch off. All right, so for a job like this, you will need a few tools. So one thing I have is an iFixit kit. So this right here, this has a bunch of little bitty uh, drill head bits right here because you will need a flathead and a Phillips head. One other thing, if you have it, is a little bitty light tester. Go ahead and grab your light tester. If you have an ohm tester, you can grab an ohm tester if you have any type of electrical current because you want to make sure, even though you turn up the switch off at the breaker box, that there is no power coming through here so you don't have 110 running through your veins. So now that you got your tools and you got your breaker box off, so you're gonna come in here and you're gonna go ahead and take off this panel. Okay, so the panel's off, so you have two more screws in here. So these are two Phillip heads. So again, uh, they might be flathead as well, but normally they are Phillip head in here. All right, so now you have it off. So now you can go ahead and pull it out and take a little quick peek. You wanna remember the directions of these wires and where they're at. So the first thing before I even put my hands in here, now I'm gonna go ahead and get my light tester. So now that I have my light tester, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to a ground point. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to double check these leads and see if I find anything in here to light up my light tester. If you need to make sure your light tester is working, go out to your car, pop your hood, put this on the negative part of your battery and tap this to the positive to make sure that your light tester is working. So I'm not getting nothing in here. So now I know that this switch is killed. So within these wires, you have a ground wire, you have a neutral wire, and then you have a positive wire, what's coming in. The neutral wire is actually um, voltage as well. It has a, a current going through it. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna feed back that way when you kill this button here, it's gonna kill the circuit. And then when you keep, turn the button on again, it's gonna allow that circuit to go back through. So again, you need to make sure what you have and make sure. So what I'm doing right now is what they call a two post. This is a two post right here. Here's one, here's two. Uh, and that's what the smart plug that I ordered is also a two post. All right, so just a minute ago, I told you that most people associate black wires with ground. If you notice on here, this is actually my line load. These are actually the load. This one right here is actually the ground, which is green. And then we have our neutral, which is white. So again, this right here is what they call a two lead. So just like the switch over here, you have your in and your out, which is what you're going to for your switch right here. Then you have your um, your ground and then you have your neutral wire. So now what you want to do is so you don't get lost Go ahead and just pull one uh, Wire nut off at a time. So in your kit you do have new wire nuts So you can throw these old ones away for safety reasons only I am going to go ahead and I'm going to reconnect my light tester and I'm going to put it onto the ground and I'm going to test to make sure I do not have no light, no power coming from anything. Just one more time, just give him, give safety where safety is due. Always give him his dues. All right, so now me, I don't like to get lost, so I'm gonna do one wire at a time. So now I know I have my neutral wire. So what I'm gonna do is now, here's the socket. I know that this is the down, this is the up. The wires are on the up face. So I'm gonna take my neutral wire. I know it's neutral for one, because it says neutral. I do know that this is the neutral wire of the house. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this in here and I'm going to uh, wrap it around and then I'm gonna put a new wire nut with this wire in on this one right here. That way that neutral is done. Okay, so now that it's on, I'm gonna give it a little tug and I wanna make sure everything is in there because we don't want it to come off while it's in here and short something out or cause a fire. 
So we're gonna make sure that it's on. So now that one's on. So the next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for ground. You'll always notice the ground because the ground wires are always the bare wires in here. But this is your bare wire, which is going to be your ground. So the same thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the wire nut off. I'm not, I don't wanna reuse these wire nuts. And if you wanna be extra safe, you can always take a little bit of electrical tape and put it around here as well. But now that we have that wire nut off, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a new wire nut and I'm gonna go ahead and put the ground wire on. Okay, so now the ground wire is on. I wanna do the same thing. I wanna give it a little tug pull, okay? So now all that we're left with is our load line. These load lines is what is your power. These are your power buttons on the side of your old switch. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. Okay, so now that they're off, it really does not matter which side goes where. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna connect this one here. Don't forget to give a pull test. Make sure it's on there. You don't have to yank on it too hard. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your last one and you're gonna go ahead and you're going to drop it on there and then go ahead and wrap it just a couple turns and then put your wire nut on. Once again, you're gonna do the pull test. So now we need to get it back into the wall. So again, these things are not flexible. You're gonna to have to work with it without trying to rip anything off and cause any damage. Always try to keep your ground separate from everything else. Just in case something is loose or comes loose or freak accident does happen, make sure that your ground is separate. So now I can go ahead and start pushing this in there. It's gonna be a little tight, don't break nothing. So you need to line it up with your holes that are on your junction box right here. Okay, so now that I have it so close, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my screws. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my first screw and I'm gonna go ahead and get it started just so it's holding it there for me. I'm gonna grab my second screw and make sure that I'm all lined up where it needs to be at. And then I'm gonna tighten it all down. But I'm not gonna tighten one down all the way. I'm gonna work them each individually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work its way down. Okay, so now that it's here, if you want, if you need to put a level, go ahead and put a level on here to make sure that it's level. This kit comes with new covers. So go ahead and grab your new cover and see how it fits. Okay, so there it is right there. I do have a little bit of gap that I'm gonna have to put a little bit of uh, cocking around there. So it does have a little spot right here to be able to pull it off and, and ease of access, but now it's just a push button. There's no up or down. It's just a push button, but it's, now it's also gonna be controlled by Alexa. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna go turn the breaker box back on, connect this to Alexa and show you how to connect it and how easy this, something like this is to get on to your ecosystem with, with your uh, smart home. And right now I'm only about 10 minutes into installing. So this is something really, really quick and easy to do and anyone can do it themselves. All right, so whenever you turn the power back on, you're greeted with a flashing light. You can still use it though. If you notice, on, off. So it still works just by a push of a button. It's still there working. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on. I'm gonna go over to my phone and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how the app works. Okay, so you download the app called Tapo. So once the app opens up, you'll see all your devices here. So I have two, I have the backyard and then I have the uh, bedroom fan. So all I gotta do now is speak to Alexa and she'll turn them on and off. Uh, in here you can add cameras, vacuums. They have multiple, multiple smart home devices. Uh, as of right now, these are the two devices I have for mine. Uh, so I have living room and bedroom. You can also set it all up. And then there again, you open up your Alexa app and uh, you can connect these as well through Alexa. Very simple, very easy to add these to your network. Because just like this, I just installed that light and that light over the weekend and I put one of these smart uh, switches on inside the house. So in here is another one of these smart switches right here. So now when I tell Alexa to turn on backyard, Alexa, turn on backyard. I walk right back outside and my lights in the backyard are on. So again, it's just, if I hear something in the middle of the night and I want to check the backyard, I just tell her to do that and I can look out the window and the whole backyard is lit up like the butt crack of dawn, you know? But anyways, I'm Thomas with Tomology. Hopefully this helps you. Hopefully you make your house as smart as you want it. I got so many more smart things that I'm gonna be putting in this house. So go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, go ahead and check out this video over here. See if this video is worth your hard-earned money here in 2025.